the plight of somebody who does on the internet for free, right? I mean, actually, that makes it more of a plight. Like, if I was actually getting paid and complaining, draw and quarter me. <laughs> Trivia bitches! Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna take it back a bit old school, but there's actually an interesting story behind that. So on my Reddit profile, I have a picture, you know how you can have banners like on Facebook or Twitter, and my Reddit banner is a picture of a young Olga Mastapanova. Recently I've been doing a few polls on the Fiona Apple subreddit to rank the songs on two of Fiona's albums. I did Win the Pawn, and I also did The Idler Wheel. <laughs> Just in case you're interested, I could put links to the, the results below. One of the people from the Fiona subreddit messaged me, sent me a DM, they slid on into my DMs, and asked me if that picture was of Yelena Naimushina. Since they mentioned Yelena, that really got me thinking about her and I decided to do her 1980 Florex because it's one of the classic routines and I think we should relive it. It's the oldest routine I will have done thus far, if I recall correctly. I always have to put that in because you know me in memory, it's, it's always a struggle. <laughs> So although Yelena was only 15 at the Olympic Games in Moscow, she was actually the youngest member on the team. She only competed at a couple of events over the next couple of years and she ended up quietly retiring, which is kind of sad. I mean, when gymnasts have to retire that young, in the olden days that was pretty much the norm. But these days gymnasts are able to compete well into the their late 20s past 30. Shusevitna just had her I think sixth Olympics at the age of 46 which is fucking insane. And nowadays gymnasts are competing later and later and older and older and older which always keeps bringing up the issue of age limits. I'm filming this right after the 2021 Olympics have just concluded and a couple of the Russian girls were 16 years old. So the thought of them not being at the Olympics, uh, uh, heartbreaking, devastating. I can't live if living is without Vlada, point blank and the period, I couldn't do it. But a lot of people really do think the age limit should be 18. I just don't agree. So this is what we're gonna take a look at today, this legendary routine from the 1980 games. And Naimashina was actually up first, believe it or not. These were the olden days. Whip through double pike. Good. Oh, this choreography is wonderful. Those high kicks, all this work on her feet, the way she's moving around the floor. Middle run. Three back hands finish with a full twist. Look at her smile. She just radiates warmth. That, <laughs> I love that part. Big dismount for the day. Another double pike. Probably better than the first. A little... Oh! I love it, I love it, I love it. And listen to the crowd. Of course it's, you know, her hometown crowd, but... <laughs> oh! Jalem, Jalem. That whole Soviet floor rotation in 1980 is one of the best of all times. From least favorite to most favorite, it would be Zakharova, Kim, Filatova, Shapashnikova, Naimashina, and then Davidova is my favorite. I love 
Davida routine so much. Filatova and Shaposhnikova could go either way, probably. Gymnastics from that era, even though they were on a floor with so few springs, the floor didn't have a lot of give. It didn't help out the gymnasts that much. So the fact that they were able to do the tumbling that they were is pretty effing impressive. Two double pikes, that's pretty good. That's pretty much what Ilyinka did the next year to win worlds on floor. So... I'm impressed. Regarding Naimashina, she married a man from Latvia. I think he was a cyclist, and she went on to move with him to Latvia, and they had three children, and then they ended up getting divorced, and she moved back to Russia, where she married her second husband. But then that's where things get really, really sad, because she ended up dying unexpectedly in March of 2017 at the age of 52. <laughs> Like, I'm always sad about these premature deaths of Russian gymnasts. I mean, I literally am still reeling from that loss of Shushinova. I mean, that, that hit me like in the gut. It's not easy to feel that sense of mortality through them. Thankfully, Yelena's legacy will always live through this Kalinka routine. It was legendary. It was a crowd favorite. And I, I hope it has a similar effect to anybody who is watching it now for the first time. I hope you can see why Naimashina is considered one of the best Soviets of that team on floor. So that's gonna be just about it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Please smash that like button if you like this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I post new content. Go to the top bell, click on that. That turns on notifications. <laughs> and you will be notified every time I post a new video. Please comment for engagement. It could not hurt. <laughs> I don't think anything could hurt at this point. Well, that's not true, but it could definitely help a lot. Bonjour, take care. I'll see everybody in my next one. Bye, love.